Hey, what's going on, everyone? Naka here. Hope you all having a wonderful day today so far. I know I am. And as you guys can tell from the background footage, we are back on Call of Duty Vanguard once again. And today, we're actually going to be focusing on one specific map, and we're only going to be playing Castle today. Now, this map isn't new to Vanguard. It's actually remastered from Call of Duty World at War way back from 2008. So today, we're going to be hopping into a custom game, and we're going to be checking out this whole map, looking through it top to bottom. And as we go through, we're going to be comparing it to the World at War one, seeing if all the spots and all that are the same. I'm going to be showing you guys the best trick shotting spots on this map, including kind of like a secret glitch spot it's not totally a glitch but you guys are gonna see what i'm talking about the spot that i'm talking about is from world of war and if you guys know you know it's definitely the best trick shot spot on the map hands down but yeah this video is more of like a first look at the map and the best trick shotting spots on it so it's not gonna be like as action-packed with trick shots as most of my videos normally are but i actually did end up hitting a trick shot from this like secret glitch spot that i was talking about which is the best trick shotting spot probably in the whole game in my opinion it wasn't custom games or private match obviously but i do think it was the first trick shot to be hit from the spot on this game so i guess that's pretty cool but yeah if you you guys already know this map and you want to see that shot feel free to skip to the end of the video my feelings won't be hurt you guys already know the map but yeah without further ado we're gonna get into the video now if you guys do enjoy this video please make sure to drop a like rating on it and a comment in the comment section below let me know how you guys are enjoying the vanguard content and what your favorite part of today's video was also if you haven't subscribed yet it is free and i am on the road to 10k so it would help me out more than you guys know i do upload call of duty trick shotting videos every single day so if you do sub and you don't want to miss one make sure to turn on post notifications as well and yeah i think i've said everything i need to say so without further ado enjoy the Vanguard trick shotting action boys and hopefully you think the shot is sick. Hi boys so it looks like we're gonna be starting on castle so I'm gonna start this game up right now. I gotta wait for the game to start in private match now because it's on dedicated servers. So that's one thing I don't really like about them but oh well. And here we go it's finally loading about damn time. But all good, doesn't really matter, at least we're in a game. And I'm sure you guys already all recognize this map already. Well, maybe not if you didn't play World at War, but I don't know. I feel like everyone who plays COD should know this map, boys. But if you don't, I'm going to pause the game and just look at the map name right there in the map layout. We are on Castle, boys, from World at War. I've been waiting for them to remaster this map literally since it came out back in like 2008. So 2009 or what, 2021 now. I've been waiting for like 12 plus years at this point. And I'm sure you guys already know why, but if you don't, let me show you. Not only does it just look beautiful and play beautiful, of like normal play like red gunning and stuff and sniping like there's a bunch of lines of sight it's just a great all-around map but not only is it great for playing normal but it's also great for trick shotting so here let me show you around the map and show you some of the trick shotting spots that you can actually go for so here i'll go all the way back to this spawn to start off so here let me run up here i right, guys so if i pull up the map you guys can see i'm officially at the very back of the map like at the very back of the spawn can't go any farther than that and we're actually already at a trick shotting spot so if you just run a little bit forward and hop up on this barrel and wall or i think you you can just hop up on the wall yeah like that unfortunately because of the barbed wire you can't go all the way but you can go on this first half of the wall right here back in the day on world of war there used to be a bounce you could jump to right here unfortunately not here anymore obviously because they did remaster the map i actually just realized something Treyarch didn't even remaster this map it was sledgehammer that remastered it in a world war ii cod but this map is originally a Treyarch map obviously because they made world at war so it's kind of interesting to see how a different studio actually like makes the same exact map obviously we're like 12 years in the future as well so it's going to look better even though Boys, I need to upgrade my PC bad. I need to get like a 30 series graphics card or something because if you look at my graphic settings, if I go over to quality, look at that, boys. Everything's on very low just so this video doesn't lag and who knows, it might even be lagging on top of that. These are the things I do for you guys so that we have good videos. But anyway, here, now that I'm back in the game, this is one of the trick shot spots like I was talking about. I didn't even really show you what you could go for off of it. But if you look, you can actually see all the way to that window over there or the balcony over there. The whole building, basically. So you can kind of just go from across the map shot. Also, I know there's a lot of trees in the way, and the trees look pretty bad because of my graphic settings, I know, I know, but even though you can't see through them, if you jump, you can actually see, like, or let me jump to this wall, you can see the whole middle of the map from here, boys, like, anyone who's just running and gunning, I know there's trees, but trust me, you can hit a shot on them, or I think there's, like, a bridge over there, yeah, you can see the bridge from right here, so if I want to go for, like, a, oh, that was garbage, but hold on, let me, like, hey, there we go, I can see to the bridge, you guys can see, like, after I'm under the trees, how much of the map I can actually, like, get a line of sight on, well, you can normally get in these windows and jump out. Obviously, they're barricaded now, but because of the destructible environments in this game, you can just knife, and hey, there we go. We can officially get in the window again. Here, let me do it to this one as well. Come on, break. There we go, and I should be able to hop right in. There we are. Let me break this one, and now I can stand in it too and crouch and do everything I need to, even jump. Let me go in this one and knife the other two so I can jump. Hey, there we go. So I can actually technically trick shot out of both of these windows. 
or this balcony along the side of it. I don't even know if this was here in World of War. It might have been. If not, I'm a new gen. Oh, I mean, if it was, I'm a new gen. I don't think you can jump to here, but I'm going to try it just for the video's sake. Can I? Can I? And nope. How'd I know? But yeah, you can also get up to this room way easier just by jumping over here and climbing this ladder. I think you could probably go for a little ladder stall off it if you want. Or you can also... Wait, is this another window? Oh yeah, here's another window you can jump out of. Okay, so this little room or hut up here is actually pretty solid. And you can just get in this hole right here. So yeah, definitely a pretty good spot. Like, let's say someone's in the back of spawn over there. You can go out of either of these windows you can see back there. You can get on the balcony and see back there. Or you can go from either of these as well. So actually, yeah, definitely a good one. But you could probably even, yeah, you can break this down. Let's say someone was down there. Okay, boys, watch this, watch this. I'm cooking now. You could get up in this window. And this isn't going to be the best uh, actual shot. But yeah, you could hit it down there. You can even break more of this for a better line of sight. Oh, that would actually be heat. I continued moving on throughout the rest of the map. There's this building over here. Let me open the doors. And if you guys see, you could probably go for a little trick shot off of here. Like, I don't know, nothing too special, probably. Yeah, something over there. Actually, you could definitely hit across the map from there. What am I talking about? All the way to that other wall I showed you guys. But if you open this door, you can get right back up here. Go for another shot off that balcony. You could go off of right here, I guess. Once again, see across the map. There's that wall over there. You can break this window and go for like a little window shot from here or to stand in it, jump out. Honestly, solid ass trick shot in the spots. As you guys can see, like this whole map is amazing for it. One of my personal favorite spots from World of War is actually over this wall. So like, let's say there's someone anywhere over there or on the bridge or anything. You can go for like a little, oh, over like that. And then because I have ninja on, which is the no falling damage perk in this game. Wait, I don't even have it on. So I guess you just don't take fall damage from there. You can just run right back up the staircase and go for another one like oh i failed but hold on hold on like that and wait i gotta try one more thing can you get on the edge right here oh shit you can can you i doubt you can get all the way around and nope because of barbed wire nice i guess if you wanted to you could also technically get on this wall right here if you hop up on it i don't know maybe hit to over there probably good for like an ffa trick shot spot if you're not getting a good spawn yeah, hit all the way to over on that wall. But if you guys thought these trick shot spots were good, because I mean, they are like this one's decent. Obviously, the buildings are way better or the building and then the wall over there. But boys, we haven't even shown off the best one yet. And I'm going to show you guys that one right now. So if you guys come to this part of the map right here, if you look at the map, you're going to want to come right about here. You're going to come over to whatever this animal is. I don't know if it's like a gargoyle or what, but you're going to jump right up here on the corner. Just hit A. Well, I think you can just jump on anywhere. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You can jump on this a little second layer anywhere too. But yeah, it's going to double jump up here or jump twice i should say then you're just gonna climb onto this by hitting a something might show up to say hit a to mantle but you don't even need it you can just jump up like that and basically from here you're just gonna jump straight right there onto this wall you can't jump on the whole wall only like little parts of it like that like if i try to go oh wait i guess you can i don't know i literally just lied right to you guys faces someone told me you couldn't i apologize for that but yeah, you're just going to hop on from there to the wall. And once you're on the wall, as you guys saw, it's just a simple... Oh, come on now. Wait, hold on. Let me get back up. Speed run real quick. There we go. There we go. AC unit and then roof. And boys, once you're on this roof, you can literally walk across the whole thing. I don't know if you can fall in here. Nah, you can't. Perfect, perfect. But yeah, from here, you can see literally the whole map. Like, it makes that wall look like a little pathetic spot. Same with the buildings down here. Like, you can see... Literally the whole map. Even if you're not trick shotting, boys, just snipe from up here. A red gun from up here. If you go over there, you can see to all the way up there, too. Like, you see the whole entire map. Spawn, building, uh, other spawn, other spawn. Like, the only thing you really can't see is inside of this building right here. So if someone's camping inside there, good luck. You aren't hitting them. Unless, yeah, I highly doubt you can wall bang this, but I guess we'll see as the life cycle of the game goes on. So yeah, I'm going to be trickshotting up here today and trying to hit a shot for you guys before we move on to the other World of War remake, which you guys are going to see what that one is. But yeah, I don't know what a trick shot to because I don't want to be here all day. Like I could go from here to that window or maybe here to that window right there or like that balcony or hold on. Let me put my tack down real quick and just do like a little 360 lineup. Oh yeah, I could put him on that bridge actually. I think that bridge would be perfect if I backdrop this here. Even if I jump off the front, like right here, 
Yeah, that bridge is it. So yeah, I'm about to put both of my dummies right down there. I actually got two of them today, like I just said. I got my main one, but then I also got Marshall OGK on a second controller. Huge shout out to Marshall for letting me use his account while he's at work, which is going to make this a lot easier on me because, boys, the no-scopes in this game, they just don't hit for some reason. I don't know if you guys saw my video during the beta where I hit my first shots in Vanguard, but it literally took like two hours to get a shot even closer than this. I'm going to be going for a Siri too. So right now, I have two deaths. I guarantee you I'm going to have a whole lot more than that when I finally hit, but hey, I guess we'll just wait and see. I'm going to knock on wood who knows i might get lucky and hit quick but i guess i'm gonna cut to when i put the two boxes there and i guess we'll see how long it's gonna take to hit but yeah without further ado let's cut to that footage now all right boys i got them both down there i gotta wait for my tag insert to load back so i can actually go for a shot but yeah i think i'm either gonna be back dropping this or jumping off the front right here because here let me see how far this actually is if i jump off and go for something i'm gonna go for like a little uh hybrid site swap then reload oh actually one sec i'm gonna throw in the bouncing betty somewhere Wait, I think I got a shot. Okay. Um, I, I didn't know my shot. I'm gonna go for a hybrid swap with the last bullet, then shoot. Knife insta swap. Ooh, yeah, that's it. I don't know how I didn't die off there. Maybe I have ninja on this class or something. I don't think I did. No, I don't. What the hell? I, I'm just gonna place down one of these and kill me because my attack's already up top. There we go. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I have a night vision scope on. I don't know if this thing just doesn't work, boys, but you can't see shit through the scope. Like, I can see my name, but where's the night vision? Like... Hello? I can see the smoke, but that is about it. Okay, let me get my tack down again. And let me go for that shot. I don't know if you guys noticed what I did in that, but I actually figured out a way to make it to, like, bind to your D-pad. So if I just hit my D-pad, it'll do a gesture. You normally can't do this, though. You normally have to pull up, like, the gesture wheel to pull out your watch or something like that. But if you guys want to know the sauce on how to do it, uh, let me know in the comments below, and I'll make a tutorial on it. Or I'll just show you guys how to do it in a video. But here, let's finally hit that shot. Ooh, I need to shoot a little bit more on. Hold on. This is going to take a little bit longer than I thought. I've already gone for it. I already have five deaths. Here, we'll get one more attempt in and then, um... Oh my god. Nice. Of course that happens to me, boys. Well, that was way quicker than I expected. But, um, that was not supposed to happen at all. I literally failed at even jumping off the roof. Fuck my life, boys. Just my luck. And the kill cams are so short, all you could see was the knife and the swap. And it looks pretty cool though when you gesture and shoot at the same time. Like that would be a pretty fire screenshot, not gonna lie. Wait, match starting locked, what the hell? Why can't I start my own private match? I have no idea. But anyways boys, I'm sure you guys get the idea of castle. So I'm gonna try to re-hit that shot with actually jumping off. I'm gonna cut to that now though, because you guys obviously saw what I was going for. You don't need to see me grind it all day. Or I don't know, maybe I'll hit it quick again. But yeah, let's cut to that footage now boys. Two hours later. I can't believe I've been going for this for over two hours now. Two hours, five minutes, that's actually disgusting. But, dude, it has to hit. Like, literally, I'm shooting so on. Yeah, I guess I'll go for this real quick. You know what? I'm going to start going for this while I'm waiting for my attack and start to, um, like, reload. Oh, I saw his red name again. Dude, you guys don't even realize how long I've been here. Does it say in-game anywhere? No, it doesn't. But I've been here literally over two hours now. Two hours, 25 minutes. Well, 26 minutes now. Okay. Dude. If I don't hit this soon, boys, this is actually just, like, embarrassing. Like, how many attempts have I gone for? Only 115? Alright, boys, let's see if I can get some zombies luck with the 115 deaths. 115? Right here. Watch. Zombies luck. Oh, zombies luck! Wait, now you die after you sui in this game, though, which is hella unfortunate. You didn't in the beta. But yo, zombies luck. There it is, boys. We love to see that. The kill cam doesn't show like anything in this game. That's another really like oh, I hate that part of it. Like, whatever, the trick shots look dope, but they need to make the kill cams better, like non-gunfight ones. But hey, there we go, boys. We hit off the castle roof. And yeah, that's gonna be a wrap in today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And to anyone who's new to my channel, I hope you enjoyed the video enough to consider subscribing with post notifications on. If you guys are wondering on how you can stay more connected or up to date with me, I'm gonna be leaving all my links down below in the description. That's gonna include my Twitter, which I'm active on so much daily, so make sure to go follow me over there if you don't yet. My Discord, my Twitch, my second channel, my TikTok. I'm active on all of them pretty regularly, so if you do enjoy my content and wanna stay connected, please make sure to go check them out and show some love. Oh yeah, one last thing. Anyone who's new to my channel that might want to know more about me personally and not just like my clips. I will be doing a Q&A soon for you guys over on Twitter, so make sure to go follow me over there, like I said, if you haven't yet. But if you just have a quick question you want a quick answer to, I do try to read every single message in my Twitch chat and reply to it. So if you ever see me live, come stop by my chat, ask a question, and I'll answer it to the best of my abilities. But yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow with another banger upload. Peace out, everyone. Parallel Neck out.